In this video, Dr. Jordan Peterson explains how you can have your alcohol use under control. What's the best way to stop drinking alcohol and start doing my best in my psychology degree? It's affecting my study, but I can do very well if I stop. I'm 26. Well, Paul, what I would say is I think you should do the future authoring program and you should really concentrate. There's a section in it that helps you determine what your positive view of your future would be, but another section that helps you determine what would happen in your life if your negative habits got out of control. And one of the things that can really help you control your alcohol intake is to really, really think through what you're giving up and where you could be in five years if you don't get it under control. And a proclivity to alcoholism can be a really vicious thing. You know, lots of people get dragged down into the mud by alcohol. Um, excess alcohol intake, especially if they're sensitive to the opiate response that alcohol can produce. And you can tell that if you, when you drink, you know, you get alert and, and, and uh, let's say more enthusiastic and energetic, and then you don't want to stop drinking. That's, a, that's definitely a bad sign with regards to developing alcoholism. So I would say you need to figure out something that's, that's more important to you than drinking. And also think through very hard the negative consequences of continuing it. You're, you're at about the age, 26, where you should stop. I mean, guys who are going to stop generally start to slow down pretty, pretty intensely around that age. Um, you know, get, also treating your psychology studying as a full-time job can also be helpful. So, you know, get up at 8 in the morning or 7.30 in the morning and start hitting the books by 9 and put in a 6 to 8 hour day. And then even if you do keep drinking, at least you're moving forward. So that's what I would say about that.